So what's going on fellas? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Grizz. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to achieve the secret easter egg here in Tagged or Toten. Interesting thing about this is I think Treyarch's trying to tell us something about a paradox between Shangri-La and Mars here. And we're going to talk about it. Be sure to subscribe if you're new around here. But let's get started. Down in the comment section below, let me know your current rank in Black Ops 4 Zombies. I'm Prestige Master, level 1000. And the elixir I'm going to recommend to you is talking about regeneration. This is going to allow you to heal as you're moving and having your special meter full before you actually go over. When you activate your special, you can heal fully. Now when you start up the map, tag your tote, and you're going to notice these zombies that are on fire. Go ahead and pick up snowballs and chuck three snowballs at the zombie. Shoot them and you'll get your part. There's three parts that you need and when you collect all of those parts, you can then build the dynamite. And we're going to need to access this dynamite so we can place it and destroy a barrier. And so build the dynamite first. And then we're going to head over to the facility and in the entrance areas where we're going to be placing this dynamite. So on the right hand side after you zip line over you're going to notice the red X. Place the dynamite here and it's going to blow it up. So step back a little bit. I'm going to take just a little bit of damage. I was a little too close. And right here on your right hand side, you're going to pick up your second gearbox and you're going to need to fix it. So you're going to head over to the lighthouse, place it on the pallet, he'll lower it down for you, and then he'll fix it. So we're going to get the fixed gearbox and place that in the outer walkway. This is our new launch pad. And there's something we're going to need to learn how to do here because on the launch pad itself, there are going to be triggers, six triggers. And so if you start on the right hand side right next to the gearbox and go around in a circle right around just follow the yellow outline around the outside and that's how you're going to get flinged and it's kind of a random generator right now as to who's going to get flinged but i highly recommend you do this with two to three to four players so two to four players not exactly sure how we're going to pull this off solo but this game in particular i got launched the other two did not now if you did get lucky enough to get launched over here, you're the one that's really close to getting this bronze trophy, the secret. Find the secret in Tagged or Toten, and you're going to be getting this trophy now. So I recommend popping, talking about regeneration, that elixir, because what that's going to allow you to do, instead of just taking damage and drowning, as you're moving you regenerate health. That's why this elixir is so important. But if you don't have this elixir, let's just say you don't have it. You need to build the heat pack. Now the way that you actually get the heat pack and obtain that and build it on one of the buildable benches is that you have to fling from the flinger that actually flung us over here in the facility in three different locations. So stand on each side in the middle, the left, and the right and fling each way and then you will be able to collect all the parts for to build the heat pack and that's going to get you through this. And if you're using the heat pack, you're going to run into something towards the end. You're going to start losing your health. And once you get to the final bar of your health, pop your super, and then your health will regenerate all the way and grant you more time to keep swimming. And that's how you're actually going to get through this. But we're almost done swimming now through this tunnel, which I believe is a gateway through a paradox from Call of the Dead to Shangri-La. When Mars appears, music will be playing. This song should be familiar because it's also the loading screen music for the map Shangri-La. It gets more weird though, but have a listen. Ooh, I can't feel my feet anymore. They're still there, right? Okay, so the song that you're hearing right now is from the loading screen music for the map Shangri-La. But this song is also the game over music for Ascension and Call of the Dead when you die. There is a boat here that allows you to return, and it does return you to the map Call of the Dead. Well, tagged or totem. 
So the zombies theory goes, Shangri-La is located on Mars, the planet Mars. In Black Ops 1 Shangri-La, there was two moons in the sky. In Black Ops 3 Shangri-La, there was only one moon, but we're talking about the original Shangri-La. Mars has two moons in the sky, and I believe we are on one of the moons right now facing Mars. But even having a look around, there's not really much that you can do. You can go back in and swim or return to the map tagged or totem. Just by entering this area, you get find the secret, the bronze trophy, and that's what you're all looking for. But if we are on one of the moons facing Mars, it makes sense because in the Black Ops 1 Shangri-La map, there were different textures for the moon than on the map Doris. That moon had a different texture. So something's up, fellas, but the question has to be asked. What is Treyarch trying to tell us about the connection between Call of the Dead, Ascension, and Shangri-La with this music playing a factor in all three maps? There is some sort of connection, and it might be a paradox type of connection between the maps Call of the Dead, our tagged or totem here in Black Ops 4 Zombies, the map Ascension, and Shangri-La there in Zombies Chronicles. Something connects them, and I think we're starting to figure it out. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. And I'll see you in the next video. Violin out.